And he has been an entrepreneur from like when he was like six. He was one of those kids that are like selling sweets on the playground. And at uni, he had like five different businesses. So he has always been like through and through an entrepreneur. Love that. Yeah. So he's, the exact he's, opposite of what you are. Yeah. Actually, how well did that come yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. So he, whenever he used to talk about having his own business, I was like, you're actually crazy. Like, why would you want your own business? Like, And he would work weekends and I would be like, can you just stop? Like, I don't get it. Like, I never really understood it because he would obviously be working towards his business. So it just meant so much more to him than my corporate life. So I went to him and I was like, look, I'm really not happy in my job and I want to do something different. And he was like, well, why don't you start your own business? And I was like, you're crazy. Like, how on earth am I going to start my own business? Like, I don't know. I Like, I literally was in that box. I didn't know accounting. I didn't know product. I didn't know manufacturing. I literally was a total blank canvas. Um, but he said to me, he was like, you know that there's no difference between me and you. Like the only difference is, is that I've done it before and you haven't. And it honestly was like another like flick. I was like, oh my gosh, like I actually think I could start my own business. And then from that point, it sort of like snowballed into like me obviously then starting the business officially. I love that, like the encouragement and the support, yeah. which actually relates to how we've been introduced as well, yeah. moving on to Steve Hewitt, who yeah. was the CEO of Gymshark for 10 years. He's yeah. like a mentor with you, and an advisor, and investor. Yeah. How important has it been having that kind of been there, done that advice from, from your fiance to yeah. Steve, to be able to then flourish as an entrepreneur? When we first started working with Steve, the business was, um, just to give you a bit of context, mm. we, so Jack worked alongside his business, and he basically said, when D. Louise starts to be as big as mine, I'll like move over. Obviously, it didn't take that long.